it's been a wonderful adjunct for the uh, uh, patients that we uh, believe that it will help. And uh, as in the trial, we used it uh, initially uh, with patients who had had uh, microwave therapy. Uh, all during the trial, I've kept uh, having opportunities to um, envision other patients that it might be equally effective for instead of uh, subjecting them to the rigors of a Foley catheter with either a floor bag at night or a leg bag. Uh, there are many of those patients that I think the uh, spanner might be a significant improvement in the quality of their life uh, while we're trying to get through whatever the underlying uh, process or problem is over the course of the next four weeks or so. I can't really think of any, to be honest with you. I think if a patient's a candidate uh, uh, for a Foley catheter, uh, I think you can, in the back of your mind, uh, always go through a sort of an algorithm that says, well, uh, if this man's urine's clear, and how long will he require this catheter? If so, then he may be a candidate for uh, a spanner device. First of all, if he's a urologist, and I think initially at least uh, as the spanner acquires uh, increased utilization, I think uh, most likely it would be in the hands of urologists, and then I think it's safe to make an assumption that most urologists are pretty good at putting in uh, Foley catheters to begin with, and then even handling complex or more complex catheterizations. And this is a little bit more complex, but it really is quite simple. Uh, it's uh, ingeniously, uh, it's a genius in its design and uh, uh, incredibly comfortable for the patient to wear.